Welcome back, everyone. Another edition of Real Talk at Robinson Film Center with Wendell Riley. Wendell, what's going on? Hey, how are you? I'm good. I, we have a moment to breathe after all the fun we've had. Yeah, the, uh, the Robbies were a great success. Um, and thank you for being a part of it, kind of leading the charge for us. Thanks for letting me get out there and make a fool of myself and have a lot of fun with you guys. What happened at the Robbies will stay at the Robbies. Stay at the so Robbies. Like it's like Vegas. Yeah. So if you want to be part of it, you need to get your tickets next year. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, you've got a lot going on. You know, there's never a slow minute at RFC. Uh, yes. So what's happening this week? Well, we hope to sleep soon. But in the meantime, uh, we're holding the film Tuesday. And uh, today we're actually opening a film called Thelma. Uh, it's one that we've been excited about bringing for a while. And it's about a 93-year-old woman who is scammed over the phone. Um, and then she actually decides to take revenge. Ooh. They go to the authorities and basically they say you can't really do anything about it. So she goes on a mission to... Um, to get revenge on the people that scammed her. And, um, you know, she is on a mission and she will not be stopped. I love it. Mm -hmm. And then you've got a great action film as well. Yeah, uh, Mad Max Fury Road, we're showing the black and chrome edition. So uh, when Fury Road premiered less than 10 years ago, it, it was in color, but George Miller, who is the director of all of the Mad Max films, he originally envisioned this as a black and white film. So now we get to actually bring this version to RFC and. Um, Furiosa uh, is in theaters right now. It's a prequel to Fury Road. I know this is all very confusing. <laughs> I'm taking notes over here, trying to follow along. You're very excited, Wendell. I, uh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I get really excited. Um, but the, you know, the Mad Max films are, are really well known for redefining the action genre. Um, the uh, Road Warrior, way back in the 80s, basically created the template for a lot of action films and then Fury Road did that in the last decade. Awesome. Well, we're looking forward to that and then you've got something that's family friendly this weekend. Yes, another really great film, um, Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. Um, I don't know if you can tell, I read a lot of comics growing up. This, These, these films, the Spider-Verse films are, are really, really well done. The story and the performances are really, really spectacular. So that's at 2 p.m. on Sunday. Um, so if you have the kids or the grandkids and you want to do something, uh, 2 p.m., it's a great opportunity to just come out and watch a fantastic film together. Yeah. And adults can enjoy it as much as the kids, which is a rare thing with animation. Where you can find that happy medium. Mm -hmm. Like you said, there's a good sense of nostalgia with it. Yeah, yeah. And, and it also deals with a lot of relevant themes of uh, belonging and um you know trying to find your true path so so we're excited about this one it's going to be a great one and then one that i think is probably by this point sold out because everybody loves the heels and reels series what's showing uh runaway bride with julia roberts and richard gear oh, swoon yeah <laughs> um so yeah we're gonna do trivia and we'll have dinner beforehand you know heels and reels is a series that's extremely popular so i i would always recommend that if you're interested check the website. Um, as soon as one is over, we put tickets up for the other one, but it sells out pretty quickly. Those tickets do go quickly. And then mm -hmm. you have another ticketed event. With it being Pride Month, we want to celebrate everyone. We are partnering with Pace, our friends at Pace. We are showing the film Closet to Pride, which is about um, a lot of people in the LGBTQ plus community in Shreveport Bossier. So they tell their stories and um, a lot of it deals with Again, finding themselves and, and deciding to live their truth. We will have a buffet dinner and, uh, and then we'll screen the film again. And of course, a lot of the people who are in the film will actually be in the audience. So it's kind of like a discussion um, panel afterwards. Yeah, yeah, and, and that's, again, that those are the kinds of things that we do here at RFC that no other theater in the region can do, and, and we are thrilled that we are able to celebrate uh, the fantastic community here. I love that. That's what RFC is all about. So if we want to buy tickets for the event or we want to get tickets for any of the film showings, how can we do it? RobinsonFilmCenter.org. Thanks, Wendell. Thank you.